Hi, welcome to Wine with Chris, welcome to the tasting room, and in fact, welcome to the wine fridge. Now you can see in here, it looks a bit of a mess. All the bottles have had their foil removed, and they've got little pin pricks on them, and little blood stains. So what's going on there? Well, let me let you in on my secret of the last few months. The Elk Cove, world famous, world beater of Pinot Noir. Many of you have written in and said, what's going on with the Elk Cove? How do I get some? How many bottles have you got? Can you keep me one till I'm next over so I can taste it? Well, here's the truth. It's all been a single bottle and you can see there is very little left. At most, room for one more challenge for the Elk Cove. But how has it been possible? It's been possible from this little thing, the Coravan system. You'll have heard of it, but many of you won't have it. And I've been secretly road testing it over the last two or three months, and it's fantastic particularly if you're the only person drinking in your household or the only person, let's say, who's drinking red wine or a particular type of wine on a weekend, you don't have to open a bottle and just have that for the whole weekend. And in fact, I've curated here basically a restaurant bar. Uh, I can go in here on a Friday night and there's Shiraz from Australia or South Africa. There's Rioja, there's Pinot Noir, there's Burgundy, there's Bordeaux. I've got everything and out in the cold fridge in the garage, I've similarly got a number of Caravan white wines chilled, ready to go, including dessert wine, so turn. So let's put the Elk Cove back. Well, just before that, you can see there close up. So you would foil, defoil the bottle and then the Caravan uh, needle goes right into the cork. I'm not gonna do a cork one today, uh, actually. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna treat myself to some more of the Stonewell Shiraz tonight. And uh, for, the, for the screw caps, which the Stonewell Shiraz is, you need one more piece of kit, and it's a Caravan screw, screw cap uh, applicator. And you can see there close up, it's sort of a silicone center there, and that's where the needle goes through. So just to, to recap, um, when you've got a cork, you only need uh, this, and when you've got a screw cap, you need to apply one of those. And do be careful, when I got mine, there's a little, um, uh, what would you call it, a little tablet of, of white plastic that I assumed was just rubbish and I discarded it. Big mistake. You need to have the little white applicator on the, big, on the inside or you can get a nice red wine stained wall. Um, other than that, there's really very little that can go wrong. Let's have a quick go, quick video, so just a quick pour. And uh, here's the Caravan. This is the button inside here. We have, oh, we have the, um, oh, probably shouldn't have done that. We have the, let me just show you, the Argon uh, gas applicators, and that's in there. I've just lost a bit of gas. Ordinarily, those will last, it depends on usage, obviously, but in my experience, six weeks-ish, so about a month and a half before I've had to replace those, uh, and this is the way it works. So I will just give it a quick pump just like that. And you can see here, this is the needle. Uh, that's what's going inside the bottle of wine. And then this is where the wine will pour out. So let's just give that a go. I should say these screw caps um, also have a shelf life. They're good for about 50 pours. So you, you will want to buy a few of those and just have those to replace them as they get old. So it just goes on like this. And then you gently push the needle down in, quite straightforward. And then to be most effective on the gas, you just want to do little little squirts like this. So this bottle was open, so it's got argon gas on the inside. It pours quite slowly. I'm not gonna pour the whole glass on here, um, but really it is as simple as this. Once the drops start to, to dry up, another little pump on the gas and off it will go again. And as I say, for those of you who want to try um, more than one wine over a weekend, or to build up a stock of 15 and 20 open wines to give you a great selection, to pair with your foods, and to enjoy different wines, different nights over the weekend, I can highly recommend the Coravan system. The only thing I would say is, I haven't bought the aerator that you can apply to the Coravan. It's about an additional 70 pounds, so I haven't made that investment yet. Um, and what I find, therefore, is that on first pour, I wouldn't be wanting to have a go at this right now. I'm planning on drinking this in about 60 to 90 minutes at the earliest. 
So unless you've got the aerator, think ahead, get your glasses set up for the evening and let them, let them start to air out. Just the same as opening a bottle of wine, really. Um, and uh, uh, on that point, you know, a friend of mine did some research on the Coravan and in fact there is um, good evidence of masters of wine doing blind tastings of Coravan wine versus normally opened wine. So wine that had been Coravan for as long as three years and those masters of wine were unable to taste any difference and to correctly distinguish between three-year-old Coravan wine and just opened wine of the same uh, vintage and type. So it's incredibly effective at storing wine. That's the cork. The only thing I'd say is on the screw cap, they, they say it will probably last a bit, bit less. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about three months. So you've got a little bit less shelf life on your screw cap wine. That's not, not a problem, drinking a bottle of wine over three months. And as I say, uh, corked wine lasts much longer. That's it really for this clip. I would recommend the Coravan. It's a great system for expanding your uh, ability to drink different types of wine and select them so that you're getting through a lot more types of wine in a month than you ordinarily would be able to. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video clip. Uh, if you did, click like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I hope to see you here in the tasting room, outside or down in the cellar again very soon.